So today I want to make a quick video showcasing a really neat GNOME extension that I came across a couple of days ago and I found rather fascinating and that is the tiling shell. Now the tiling shell, really kind of cool if you see, I'm just dragging with the mouse and I, I've got, you know, some snapping that I could do or if I wanted to, I could hold the control key down and I have this layout. I could actually put this window in any one of these quadrants by dragging it or if I wanted to actually use the keyboard, I could actually also so manipulate this thing using the keyboard through these various layouts and this is the tiling shell and you can find the source code for tiling shell over on github i'll link to the github for tiling shell in the show description but it is free and open source software it is licensed under the gpl v2 and you guys know i'm a big fan of tiling window managers and one of the things about tiling window managers over desktop environments uh, the biggest difference between tiling window managers and traditional desktop environments is actually not necessarily window tiling. It's actually how tiling window managers handle workspaces that really separates them from traditional desktop environments like GNOME and KDE Plasma. And so when you add one of these tiling shell assistants, you know, these tiling plugins to something like GNOME or Plasma, and I've tried several of these, you know, they do add some tiling functionality, but it never replicates the workspace functionality that you get on a traditional tiling window manager, which I think is the real downside. Like if you're somebody that actually likes tiling window managers, then something like this is not going to satisfy you. You'd much rather use a proper tiling window manager or something like, I don't know, Xmonad or Qtile or Awesome or Sway or whatever it is you want to use. But if you like a traditional desktop environment, you know, you're used to floating window managers and you want to dabble a little bit with tiling functionality, then enabling a plugin like the tiling shell makes sense. Now when you install Tiling Shell here on Ubuntu, I'm using Ubuntu 2404 today for this video, you can see you get an indicator here. So this indicator tells you what layout uh, you're currently on. You can see I can actually choose between these four layouts. These four layouts, by the way, are four default layouts that ship out of the box. If you want to, you can edit the layouts. You can actually create your own new layout if you want. You can see by left clicking or right clicking, you know, I can actually go ahead and create uh, uh, my own tiling layout, if you will. But for me, I kind of like the uh, the originals here. So I'm just going to cancel adding a new layout. If you want to play around with some of the settings for tiling shell, you need a tool like the GNOME extensions manager. And if you go into extensions manager, you can see tiling shell here and hit the little cog wheel for the settings. And you can play around with the inner gaps, the outer gaps. You can turn on and off the indicator too. If you don't actually need to see the indicator, you can turn the indicator all for me. I like having the indicator on. And for the most part, these settings here are all the defaults. I haven't changed much. Uh, you have key bindings using control or alt for your modifier keys. And you also have key bindings down here that by default, we're using the super key. So you could do super and the arrow keys to move the window around. But I found that the super key really conflicted with some of the default key bindings, especially on GNOME on Ubuntu. They were using super for a lot of other key bindings. So I changed that to actually be alt. So instead of super uh, up, down, left, right, I do alt and then, you know, I can up, down, left, right, wherever I want to move that window. One cool thing you can do with the tiling shell, if I make this full screen here, you can see that with layouts, you can actually edit the layout. So you can create new layouts. You can edit existing layouts, of course, but you can also save them. And when you save your layouts, you can export them or import them. So that would be great if you wanted to share a custom layout with other people. And they also have a reset layout button here. I guess if you mess up some of the layouts from the defaults, you, know, you can always reset it to go back to the default layouts. Now, let me me open up a few terminals and you know, let's go ahead and play a little bit with the tiling functionality. So I'm just going to do the alt and the arrow key, uh, key bindings that I've already got set up. So if I just do alt and then write two times, it will take that window first to the center pane and then finally over to the left pane. If I wanted to move that window down, I could do uh, alt down as well to get it into that spot. And then I can bring my cursor over here to focus on that window and then do that alt right and then alt right again to get there and then I could do these as well put that one there and then that one and then this one here I could go ahead and do alt and up or over and I'm assuming 
did it put it? Yeah, it put it actually on top. So they can actually occupy the same space. I was not aware of that. If I do Alt and then Left, Alt and Left again, it's actually on top of a window that's already there. But I could bring this one down. And actually, if I bring it down, I could actually snap it to half screen. I think that's a default uh, GNOME behavior. So you still can snap with the mouse. You can snap half a screen. Now watch what happens when I do Alt and I start dragging this. I could actually drag it up here and all of a sudden I get this little pop down and these were the default uh, layouts, right? This is the one I'm currently on, but if I wanted to drag this to a different position in a different layout, maybe I want to use this layout and I want to put it in that like one third you know, left hand pain, I can do that. So that's actually some really neat functionality. Again, that's not necessarily a proper tiling window manager per se, but for those of you, again, using GNOME and you want something a little bit more flexible and customizable than your traditional floating windows, I think tiling shell makes a lot of sense. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. Matt, James, Steve, Armor Dragon, Dorloff, Daedalus, GDR, George, Lee, Matthew, Mythos, Erjan, Paul, Peace Arch and Fedora, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, Solastri, Tenor, and more Gentoo and Ubuntu, and Willie. These guys, my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This episode about the GNOME extension, the tiling shill, it wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon. Without these guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. If you like my work, want to see more videos about Linux and Freenome, open source software, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.